Hello guys, thanks for subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell to stay updated and sharing with everybody that you know. It's time to plug all your holes. I've plugged all of mine and I mean all of them. Obviously you can't see some of them, but I've plugged a lot. I'm choosing to ignore the rapid fall in deaths because we've had surges in cases and 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 cases are the things that we should be panicking over they're all saying it yeah just literally just watched the bbc just then just five minutes ago it's all cases and as long as cases are going up then i'm plugging up i did plug up this area as well but found it quite difficult to inhale air especially when i had my nappy on well, i can understand the government's logic mr hancock's logic when he's talking about introducing rapid testing, lots more testing, millions more testing. Because, of course, when the hysteria is all about cases, the best way to end the crisis is to rapidly increase testing. This thing can live in your ears. It's airborne. If you're a man over six feet tall, you're at more of a risk. It can live in your poo. Like I said, you're just best off plugging up all your holes. If you're bold, you're at more of a risk. I mean... I don't stand a bloody chance. And when I get into a, a hysteria, when I get panicky, I find the best thing to do is jump onto Dr. Google. Yeah? Try and contact your local doctors. They're pretty much shut. You're lucky if they're taking calls from you now. A friend tried to get into the hospital, said they were too busy recording or something. I don't know. Dr. Google's the route. It's the way to go. He's instantly accessible and he's got an answer for any question, any query that you've got. All you need to do is type it in. And I've been doing my daily searches on the symptoms and it is, it is a bit alarming. You know, these symptoms with what's going about at the minute seems to be added to every day. If I'm being honest, I check about every hour. Every half an hour. So every half an hour, there's a new symptom being added to. Let's have a look. I've just Googled it. Um, the you know what symptoms by those who have had it. See, I like to get first-hand knowledge of people that have had it so I know exactly what I'm dealing with. Because if I'm not checking celebrity statuses, I'm not checking them on Instagram to see what they're up to and their experiences... And I'm really like surprised about how many celebs have actually had it. Actually, it's really shocking how many they've had it and how many people they know they've had it, and family members and friends and other celebs. It's it's quite incredible. I've, I've googled it and it's a bit random. Somerset Live. Um, I don't really know what this is, but it's a popular article on it. So let's let's go with it because it's, it's got to be real. It's online. 13, do you know what symptoms were revealed by those who have had it? Let's have a look. One, painful sinuses. That sounds similar to the cold or, or the flu again, doesn't it, that? Yeah. When I had a couple of colds previously, I had painful sinuses, but, it's, you know, it's related to the you-know-what. Ear pressure, yeah. Again, that's why I plugged them up. Ear pressure, and you can get that related to most other things as well. Flu like symptoms, yeah. But again, it's all very similar to the you know what included in it. Three, thumping headache. Yeah, again, I think I remember last time I had a, a cold or just felt a little bit under the weather. I had all these things so far, but so far I'm ticking all the boxes. Four, burning eyes. Like a burning eyes could be related to it itchiness and hay fever and allergies. Could all be related to smog, smoke, dust, mold and even animals. You could relate that to pretty much everyday life in an everyday circumstance. But, okay, we'll, 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 we'll link it in. We'll pop, pop it in. Five, constricted throat. Well, that sounds serious, doesn't it? Um, constricted throat. Do they mean like sore throat or... Constricted throat, okay. Not sure about that. Six aches all over. Yeah, 
cold, flu, viruses. Again, you're not being a medical expert or a doctor. You know, you shouldn't be commenting on this stuff. I know it doesn't make much of a difference nowadays, but you shouldn't be commenting. But I would say that so far, all these things are very much linking to stuff that, that has been quite common. Seven, lungs that sound like a paper bag. It's like we wheezy, right? Blimey. Eight, fatigue, very similar again to keep mentioning cold and flu don't they fatigue could be related to a lot of different things couldn't they? even stress like for example you know you start reading all these type more severe symptoms and i don't know it's like it all becomes a bit real I'm, I'm, i researched some because i've heard about something called medical student syndrome or medical student disease and it's quite interesting how when you start to read stuff it can start to manifest Lack of appetite, yeah, I mean, I would imagine if you start to get ill, the last thing you want is a slap-up meal of bacon, eggs and sausage and beans. A fever. Again, you know, not, not being a medical expert or doctor, it's hard to comment, but fevers, uh, these miraculous things induced by our immune systems to get rid of foreign bodies. So again, could be related to a lot of other things, couldn't it? tight chest and coughing spells that sounds similar to something else that i read there but again similar symptoms all, all all very 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 linked um jet lag jet lag jet lag that's that's a new one have i have i got that on my list just have a look at my list now i don't think i wrote jet lag down I mean, just on the face of it, I thought jet lag was to do... Oh, that there's one of them there. I thought it was to do with planes or, or jet, since the name, but... All right, you don't even need to get on a plane. When it's linked to the you-know-what, it's, it's all related. Well, howdy-ho, guys, I'm back! And this is the serious me informing you to stay the fuck away from Dr. Google... Take a look at medical student syndrome. The plugs have gone, and thank fuck for that. They actually are quite uncomfortable. Especially that one I had to take out. Hang on, thinking about it. I really didn't need to do that one for the purposes of this session, did I? And no, I didn't get any pleasure. Um, what was I going to say? Stay the fuck away from Dr. Google. Have a look at medical student syndrome, all interesting stuff, how things can uh, become very real from a psychological warfare point of view and how things can manifest. Um, and uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for hitting the notification bell. Thanks for sharing with everybody you know. Uh, if you're interested in meetups, or getting the attention that you deserve with a t-shirt. There's links in the description. The best place to stay in touch is on the website, carlvernon.com. Do your best to lead with love and not fear. Ta-ta.